Hey everyone, this is Lily from Campus Rec Summer Camp, and today I have another Discover video for you guys to watch at home this summer. One of my favorite things to study is architecture, especially Egyptian architecture. And so today I thought we would discover the Great Sphinx in Egypt and some of the cool facts about it. The Sphinx is located in Giza, Egypt and is about 4,500 years old. It is massive, measuring 240 feet long and 66 feet high. So that's about a little over than two football fields long. So why would ancient Egyptians build something that big? Well, the Sphinx is a mythical creature with the body of a lion and the head of a person. In ancient Egypt, Sphinx were riddle askers and spiritual guardians. Specifically, they are the spiritual guardians for the royal family, or pharaohs, which means king. This Sphinx was the spiritual guardian for Pharaoh Khafre, a pharaoh in early Egyptian history. Something is missing from the Sphinx. Can you tell what it is? If you said the nose, you're correct. The Sphinx is supposed to have a nose. No one knows for sure what happened. There were rumors that Napoleon's troops hit it off, but there is no evidence of that. And other historians and archeologists, which are people who study and try to find history, say that Turkish, Turkish soldiers shot it off or that it was chiseled off by someone who thought the Sphinx was evil. What do you think may have happened to the nose? Even with the nose chiseled off, the Sphinx has drastically changed since first being built. In fact, the Sphinx is supposed to be colorful and have a beard. Due to erosion, however, the Sphinx was damaged quite a lot. All right, so let's have some fun and kind of do some riddles from the Sphinx. As I said earlier, the Sphinx loves to ask riddles. So what becomes wetter the more it dries? If you said a towel, that was correct. All right, one more. I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? If you said a candle, you were correct. So I hope you guys had fun and you guys discovered something new. I hope this also inspired you to learn and study more about ancient Egyptian culture and architecture. I've always found it fascinating, so I hope you guys kind of found it fascinating too. As always, make sure you guys stay safe, healthy, and active, and we'll see you again soon with more videos from Campus Rec Summer Camp.